Today I'm going to cover a couple of amazing functions that are available in Google Sheets and they're related to regular expressions. So if you're familiar with the regular expressions, then it's going to be very easy for you to understand. If you're not, just uh, a warning, this is more on the advanced side of using Google Sheets. So for a beginner, it might not be very easy to understand a lot of times. But the functions we'll be covering are called uh, regex match, regex extract, and regex replace. And mostly we'll be concentrating on regex uh, extract and regex replace functions. But again, if you can figure out how to use one of these, then it will, it will be possible to figure out how you can use all the others. So, uh, and a lot of, of what I'm going to be covering today is really like basics of understanding regular expressions and how you can use them. And just to emphasize, this is not going to be in detail coverage of regular expressions. So if you really want to dig deeper into it, you may want to just uh, look into regular expressions on their own, right? So uh, now what do we get out of these functions that I'm talking about, right? So these functions that we have, so if you have uh, experience with text functions in Excel, like for example, uh, there is substitute function where you can search and replace something in a text. There's also uh, like split function where you can split text by a character. So these are like those on a steroid. So if you want to think about like functions that will cover a lot of those functionalities and then some more, this is it. So let's see what we're actually talking about, right? So first of all, the uh, regular expression. So I'm going to start with our reg extract function. So I'm going to go equals reg extract. And the first uh, argument is the text we're working with. So what is the original text? So in this case, I'm going to take this email address that we have and I'm going to do a comma and the second argument is going to be the so-called regular expression and it has to be in, as a string that means in quotes from both sides. So I'm going to go quote and what I'm going to do I'll just try something simple just to start with. So I'm going to do edu and close parentheses and right here quote and parentheses and hit enter and you can see that it says edu. So what does that mean, right? So what I'm going to copy this down so you can see what's happening here. So every text that has the word edu in it, you can you see we're extracting that text out of it and we're getting that text as a result, which is definitely not very helpful uh, in this particular case, but that's a start. So you can think about this that it's checking if this text contains that edu and if it contains it kind of returns it. That's pretty much what it's going going on here. Now, uh, but that's not really helpful, right? So let's get to regular expressions when they actually get uh, become a lot more helpful than this. So let's say what we want to do, we want to grab everything in this text starting uh, from this uh, add sign in the email and going forward. So I'm going to type add sign because that's going to be the beginning character I want to extract, which is the add sign. That's where I want to start. And then I want all the characters after. So the way you tell all the characters, so first of all, there is a, uh, the, there is a dot that I'm going to do. Now the dot in regular expression has a special meaning. It's not looking at that dot as just a character, which is like a dot. What it's looking for, it means any character. So right now, if you look here in the blue, it kind of tells us what the result is going to be. So what it's doing, it's taking the at sign and the next character after it, whatever character it may be, it's going to extract it. So right now, if I copy this down, you'll see that it's gonna take the at signs and the next character after it. And that's exactly what it's doing. So dot meaning any character. Now, what's interesting about this is that uh, we want all the characters after, right? So the way we can do that, we can do plus sign immediately after the dot. And what plus means, it means 
one or more of the character that we have before the plus. Now the character we have before the plus is this dot, which means any character. So we're saying that after the add sign, we're going to have one or more of any character. And in this case, it's basically gonna mean all the remaining characters after the add. So now if I go ahead and hit enter, copy this down, see, we have our results just like that. So we extract it from the at sign and going forward, everything that follows that. Now, uh, to make this easy, because uh, this takes a lot of time, so every time, you know, type the new regular expression here and then try to copy the formula down to see what happens. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this regular expression we have and type whatever that regular expression is going to be right here. So that's going to be our, you know, our at dot plus right that's what we're using and here I'm going to say equals to so and again I'm going to hit escape because I don't want to type the whole thing in so we're saying d2 and instead of here typing the actual regular expression I'll just point to the cell that contains that regular expression on top and because I would like to copy this down so we can see what results we're getting right away I'm going to lock this cell on top so that's our f4 to add the dollar sign for the column and dollar sign for the row that's going to lock the cell on top and because it's locked we'll be able to come here and I'm going to copy this text down oh there are more records here than I thought but there it is so now the advantage of doing this is that I don't have to get inside of this formula every time to get the updates all I have to do is just go here on top and update my regular expression. So if I switch this back before the plus, hit enter, see we're getting the results we were having before. So, so far we know that a dot means any character. So what that means is that if we wanted to extract everything that starts with the letter, I don't know, uh, T, and then any character after that and then L as the next character right so that's gonna be see apparently this one is tell in it now I'm not sure there are any others so see this one is T this at sign and L so we've extracted that and everything else doesn't have anything so we're getting NA as a result for this so that Again, any character is the dot. Now, uh, the plus after any character means any number of this particular character we have. Now, what if I wanted to get the extension of each domain, right? I want to get this edu.co and this ca and edu and org and, uh, you know, co uk and so on. We're trying to get the extension of the domain. So how can we actually accomplish that? So the way I can accomplish that is, uh, first of all, I have to figure out what a pattern is and try to match that pattern. Well, we're gonna have dot some characters and sometimes it could be three, sometimes it's something else, right? Then dot, then two more characters. Now in this case, now in the second case, it's just the dot edu, that part, right? So uh, we're trying to figure out how to extract that. Now, one interesting uh, special character in a regular expression is the dollar sign. So, and what a dollar sign uh, is, is basically it means the end of the text. We're expecting that to be the end of our text. So uh, if, and before I guess I get into it, I'll have to cover a few other things so we know what that, what exactly we're, we're doing here. So uh, the first thing I'm going to cover is the slash W. Again, slash W has a special meaning and it means uh, uh, alpha numeric character. So it includes uh, all the alphabet letters and it's going to include all the numbers and it's gonna include underscore which is kind of a weird definition of a word character, but that's kind of how it works. Now this, I'm saying just get one word character and it's getting the first one because we said one of them. Now, if I do the plus sign, that will mean one or more of that. Now what's going to happen is gonna keep going until it hits a character that's not 
that alphanumeric or underscore and at that point it's going to stop so it extracts from the beginning to that dot which is not often numeric anymore right so that's what we're extracting here now let's say we also want to extract the dot after that that we have right we want to match the ones that have the the first word and then dot and then we want to grab the second word so that's what we're trying to match so what I want to say is after this that we've matched we have to have this dot character so if you remember if I do dot dot in regular expression has a special meaning meaning any character so the way we can actually say that what we're saying here is actually just a dot it's not that special regular character character is by using this escape character which is this uh, I guess forward slash we're calling this so that's gonna be our escape character so when we're placing that before a special character in regular expression that means that we actually mean that character so right now if I hit enter see it gets the word and the dot after the word that we have so we go word and the dot after it so uh, let's see if we have any words that don't have a dot in them so this one and you can see what happened it's not matching the beginning here it's it does this part doesn't match that pattern what does match that pattern is the second part where it's this and then dot and ca and that's the pattern is matching as a result of that now but let's kind of learn the basics now let's say after the dot I'm expecting some other word characters and I'm expecting one or more of those characters so that's what it's going to do so it's gonna find something then dot then something else after that so here it wasn't able to find it in the beginning but it was able to find a pattern similar to that in the end right now uh, another thing I said is that the dollar has a special meaning so if I put dollar in the end that means it ends with this so it's going to try to find something that has some words and then the dot after that and then some other words and then that's the end of it. So here, see the way it was able to find it is where this edu, that's the word, one or more of text character and then we have this dot after it and then co, that's what it was able to match and so on. Now that, that's looking for that to be in the end of the text which is this is our end of the text we have and then we have the end of the text here the end of the text here the end of the text here and so on right so that's pretty good I guess but again uh, we could have a little problem here because uh, in some cases here like the domains we have, they, they are edu.co, right? That's what we have. That's our domain. And then this is just edu. So if we were trying to just extract the whole domain name, for example, uh, and uh, we kind of did it with that at sign, but we didn't exactly do it. We'll kind of get back to that example. But that's not really extracting just a domain name. What it's extracting is that, well, in this case, it's actually matching that. It's the domain name ends up being that pattern. But in this case, well, not the domain name. I'm sorry. I meant the extension. Here we're getting the extension. But here it's not the extension. It's actually the whole domain name because it's not one of the domains that has two, you know, dots in the extension. So then we're going to have to find a different way to achieve what we want. Now to get to it, we're going to have to learn some other special characters. So so far we know that slash w is often numeric or uh, underscore character. We know that if we want to just do dot, that will be this escape dot because the regular dot means any character. We know that plus means one or more of the character that we specified before that. And we also know that dollar sign means that's the end. Now I'm going to go back for a second to our example that I did when I did like the add sign and then I did one or more word character. Oh, actually I did any character after that, one or more. So that was ex extracting the add sign and the domain name. 
But let's say what I really wanted here was to just get the domain name. I don't want the at sign, right? So I can accomplish that by using this grouping in regular expression. And the way you can group something is by wrapping it in parentheses from the beginning and the end. So I didn't want the at sign and I'm grouping the part that I actually want to capture, which is whatever's after the at sign. So I'm going to put that in parentheses, hit enter, and you can see how now we don't have that at anymore. As a result, we're still looking for that pattern that starts with at, but we're extracting only what's in our parentheses.